Hey, I'm CeCe Summers, and fuck you, Ren. Who would have thought that this tiny little fox boy would one day become the bane of my entire existence? So I was looking at the achievements, and it looks like there's three shows that you're able to get through. I have not been able to get through one, because <laughs> I'm great at this. So, <laughs> I'm gonna just keep clicking stuff and trying different combinations until I can survive through the first show. Let's see if I can get to show two, and I'm so excited for it. I Just reading about how horrific and brutal it is really, really makes me excited to play it. <laughs> You know what? Actually, he might enjoy the fact that I would name myself straight. You know what I should name myself? Now come at me, bitch. Lighten the impact a little bit. <laughs> it smells like bleach and shame in here. I like that he has the rainbow mouse and keyboard. He's a pro. <laughs> He's kinda... twinky. <laughs> I could take a twink. I know it. Why, why would you do that? Took a second for my eyes to adjust, but... <laughs> names him. <laughs> names him. <laughs> Bro, what? You can't see shit. You need to fix your camera, man. It's so grainy. Why'd you even film it in the dark? Would you shut the fuck up and watch? Is he sitting there talking to himself? What is happening? <laughs> not me not remembering that I named myself Ren. <laughs> I'm doing great. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Please say hello to Ren. And also Ren. <laughs> Plug your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come see me, CC Summers. Be deeply uncomfortable with the vibes uh, that we've brought in the studio today. <laughs> hey, folks, I'm Ren. You can find me streaming on my own channel Monday to Saturday at. I felt a warning kick. Oh, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> There's two other cameras. Stop talking about my ass. <laughs> no, I'm not going to whip it out. <laughs> It sounded like he was trying not to laugh. See, okay, this makes it a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> this bowl. <laughs> Chat says your time is up. What? They... The fuck you mean? I give the best goddamn gl- No! <laughs> this sentence needs to be illegal. <laughs> Don't call it that. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do, shoot me? <laughs> God damn it. What do you think of your outfit? It's fine, but I look better in jewel tones. I feel like that should have been obvious. Ha ha! I did it! Yes! I gave some good... Glock... Gl I can't even say it. <laughs> I gasped as the gun was suddenly withdrawn from my mouth. You're a natural! And it looks like Chat was impressed. He placed the gun on the table. A little flutter of hope lit up in my chest. They like you, and they want to see more. They do? That's right, darling. He was still breathing hard, and still gross. Although, I think we should give them one more little treat before we wrap up for the night. I don't like that implication. The chain above me loosened as he shoved my head down. What? He grabbed my head in an iron grip. Mm. 
No. Two clawed fingers forced the eyelid of my right eye open. Panic flooded back through my system. What are you doing? His other hand went, oh, gross, 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 gross. No, why does it look like that? No, why? Why does it look like that? No, 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 no. It's in my eye. <laughs> you put it in my eye. <laughs> God damn it, I hate it here. <laughs> I screamed at the searing pain in my skull. His claw had plunged into my eye when I moved. Jail. <laughs> my scream trailed off in an agonized groan. His painful grip stayed for so long until it finally dropped away. My face was drenched in blood and other liquids I didn't want to think about. His heavy breathing finally evened out and he... gross. The humiliation was just a faraway buzzing in comparison to the agony. My eye, I can't see from it. Did he, did he really? My attention snapped back to him as he composed himself with a satisfied sigh. I thought you might like that. He was talking to them again. A perfect end to a perfect stream. Thank you so much for joining me, my delightful patrons. And let's show a little appreciation for our lovely star, Cece. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't be here without you. Yes, I agree. Well, I'm sure we'll have plenty of fun next time, too. Good night for now. He made the motion of blowing a kiss to the camera. Then he clicked something and tapped away at the keyboard. He sighed and turned to me. I squinted up at him painfully with my one good eye. To my surprise, he had pulled off his mask. Oh, hello, Ren. Well, you've survived a show. That's not very common, you know. You should be proud of yourself. So proud. I had no idea what to feel. Everything hurt so much. As adorable as you are like that, we should get you cleaned up. Yes, I'm sure with my eyeball just dribbling down my face. I'm looking so cute. <laughs> His voice sounded different without the mask. My brain was barely holding on to the concept. Hey. He suddenly was holding my face, looking at me. Uh, snapping fingers. I'm tired. There you go. Hello, Ren, you've gotten old. Huh? You passed out. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> Can't blame you, really. You did lose a lot of blood. I gasped as I saw him clearly for the first time. He's older than I realized. And he really is short. But clearly inhuman as well. I looked around the empty room. Why can't I see? I held up a hand to touch my eye and found bandages. My eye! Hmm, yes. Bit of a shame, but you have a spare. I did what you said. I survived, you said. That's right. And you did very well. Aren't you gonna let me go? He responded in that sharp bark of a laugh. Oh, sweetie, you're not going to be leaving. A lump caught in my throat. You have a job now. You need to keep performing. What? In fact, you'd better get some rest. You'll want to heal as best as you can for our next show. He stepped towards the door. No, that can't be it. I lunged forward and immediately crumpled to the floor. Searing pain shot up my foot. Yeah, you might want to stay off that foot. Don't want to tear your stitches now. I cradled my foot and tried not to cry. Good night, Ongane. Wait. Why do you do this? Why? They always ask, why? Fine, I'll tell you. 
because I'm really fucking good at it. I guess. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean you have to. I didn't know how to respond to that. I could only stare at him in disbelief. Sleep tight. Okay. I stared at the door. Then I looked around myself. Absolutely nothing aside from a litter box in the corner and some kind of foam mattress. A litter box. <sighs> really taking daddy's discord kitten to like another level here. <laughs> well, obviously we're gonna try to escape. I huffed and stood up straight. I have to try. I tried the door first, locked and extremely heavy duty. I sighed. I guess I should have expected that. I spent another hour or so examining the room, the mattress, toilet, and every corner, every seam of wall to floor. But there's nothing. This was a huge waste of time. I flopped down on the foam pad. I gazed up at the ceiling and noticed one of the lights was out. That's not a light. Wait, that's not a light. It's a camera. He could have been watching me. He might be watching me now. I curled up, disturbed. I can't think about that now. I just need to get some rest. I woke up slowly, my body aching. The memory of the night before came flooding back to me with a wave of panic. As I stared at my empty confines, the panic slowly turned to misery. I looked down at myself and froze. Plain underwear. He undressed me when I was knocked out. I shivered at the thought before laying back down. There's no point in getting upset now. I rolled over and closed my eyes. I stayed in that room for what felt like days, but it was impossible to tell. No windows, no change in the lights. Nothing to look at, at all. Except for our awesome hang in there poster. <laughs> the maddening silence was only broken once every several hours. A meager meal of bread and water in a paper cup being pushed through a slot in the bottom of the door. I considered starving myself, but I didn't have the strength. So I ate. And I rested. I tried to pretend I was in a hospital. That everything was fine. Some of my wounds began to feel a little better. But my eye didn't. It felt hot and itchy. I was too afraid to lift the bandages. Coward. I mean, no, I wouldn't call you a coward for that. I could be infected. Cut myself some slack, self. <laughs> I shook the thought from my head. I let myself drift away into a wavering unconsciousness. The sound of the heavy door swinging open jolted me out of a restless nap. Hello, Cece. Hello, Fox. It's time for you to get to work again. Yay. I shot upright and unconsciously shuffled backwards. He's back. He came back. What's the animal names? Stop with the animal names. I swear to God. <laughs> Before I could say anything, two huge guards entered the room behind him. They made him look even shorter, but somehow, the air of malice still came directly from him. You need to get dressed. Dressed? My own voice sounded foreign to me. I realized I hadn't spoken in days. He threw a wad of black netting in front of me. Yes, dressed. I grabbed and examined the wad of material. It unfurled into some sort of bodysuit made entirely of fishnet. I have not showered in days and days and days. My eye is festering. I'm sure that the rest of my wounds are if he has a, if he didn't come in to clean them for days and days or change the bandages. But yes, put me in a fishnet bodysuit. That's really gonna it's gonna look real nice. <laughs> Complete with underwear that looked much too small for me. I looked back up to him. Surely he doesn't. He sighed with obvious annoyance. We're on a schedule. You can get dressed or I'll have them do it for you. I looked at the pair of goons and gulped. Maybe I want them to help me. <laughs> Not that guy, though. Blonde ass bitch. Come here, Rhino. I need some help. I'm not wearing this. 
Suit yourself. He motioned lazily toward me, and the guards immediately went into action. Wait, I... Rough hands grabbed me and shoved me down to the floor with brutal speed. The rest of my sentence came out as a wheeze as I was pressed into the concrete. I could hardly get out a yelp of surprise as my underwear was yanked off. A new pair was pulled on almost as quickly. The rest of the outfit was pulled over me with the same mechanical efficiency. I was entirely powerless to do anything about it. Then I was pulled to my feet. I winced as my weight fell on my still injured soul. It distracted me from my arms being pulled behind my back. A click and the familiar weight of metal shackles weighed my wrist down. You're lucky you're going on camera right away. Or I would have let them do a lot more than dress you. Ugh. Now, come on. We don't have any more time. The guard pushed me forward and out of the room. I was walked down a few dark hallways before we stopped at another heavy door. As I was pushed through into the darkness, I smelled old blood. I saw the screens and the chain. Oh, I'm back, yay! I was pushed to my knees below it. Not this room, not this room! I couldn't stop the panic from buzzing in my brain. My feet were shackled on the floor. I'm sorry, I just, I can't with this rainbow keyboard. I can't. My feet were shackled to the floor. Please, not again. My wrist shackles were attached to the chain. That'll be all. Heavy footsteps left the room, and the door thudded shut with terrifying finality. There was an awful voice in my head repeating the same thing over and over. You're not going to survive this again. Probably not with my track record. A hand grabbed my face. Are you ready? I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. I think you'll... Well, we're about to go on. He let me go without waiting for an answer. Then he tapped at the keyboard. He rolled his shoulders and sighed. Then he straightened. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back. I see it's gotten a bit busier in here. How exciting. I bet I can guess why that is. You've fallen in love with Cece, haven't you? Oh, what's not to love? He laughed, not in his usual bark, but the light and controlled laugh of a host. Well, I'm pleased to share her with you. Oh. He stepped out of the way and gestured to me. I slumped into my bonds. I know them now. There's no point in begging or crying for help. Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. Say hi to your admirers. Eat, shit, and die. I was surprised at the bubble of anger in my chest. That I even had the energy to feel it still. Hmm. He scoffed before turning back to his screens. Ha! Huh. You guys really like the spicy ones, hmm. And I see some happy gamblers already. Well, you are all in for a treat. We've barely gotten started. Now, I was thinking we'd start off with... Hmm? What happened to her eye? Yeah, fox. What happened to my eye? Fox. Ah, how careless of me. My apologies. Some of you weren't here last time. Allow me to show off our previous work. He lifted a camera off its tripod. Then he brought it close to me. I could feel myself cringing away from the invasive lens. He circled behind me. The foot was fun. It looks like it's healing pretty well. I yelped involuntarily as a claw prodded at the stitches at the bottom of my foot. It was certainly rough enough to draw blood, but I couldn't see. He came back around. Can you see the bruises? Oh. He shoved the camera close to my chest. It's a little hard to tell with the fishnets right now, but we had to sew her up here too. And of course. He brought the camera up to my face, hovering above the bandage over my eye. I suppose you'd like to see what's under here, hmm? No, I would vomit. <laughs> Without warning, he unhooked the back of the bandage and hastily unwrapped it. Ah, uh, wait! The last part was stuck. He tugged it and tore it away from the flesh and dried fluid it was fused with. 
stinging pain returned, and I felt a warm drop roll down my face. Wow. Maybe we should have changed that bandage. It doesn't look so good. Yeah, yeah, thank. He actually sounded a bit apologetic. I assumed it was just for the cameras. He delicately placed the camera back on its tripod and took a moment to read his screens. Ha 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 ha, fuck off. Now, now. You know that kills them. Every time. We can't do that before we've even done anything. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, no fun. Let's start with something a little more nuanced. He left for a moment as he retrieved something. What is that? Then he held it up to the camera. You've got to be patient if you want to appreciate the finer things in life. So, plenty of you seem to remember what this is. Anyone else have any design ideas? He went silent for a moment as he seemed to consider whatever chat was writing. It looks like a tattoo gun. But like with an actual gun part, like with a handle. I've never seen one with a handle. They're always just like a stick. Oh ho! So many suggestions. You all want a piece of the canvas, hmm. Whoa. Sorry, everyone. He chuckled and shrugged in an overly animated way. Looks like Big Spender Diamond wants to make her mark. Your wish is my command. A diamond for the lady, and a show for the rest of us. A diamond where? 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 And with what? Because that does not look like a tattoo gun. Shall we get to work then? Fucking no. Fear prickled up my neck as he made his way to me. He lifted the item in front of me this time. Is that a branding iron? Do you know what this is? Like a cauterizer gun. A glue gun? I don't know. A bedazzler? <laughs> it's absolutely a bedazzler. A what? A bedazzler. It bedazzles stuff. Like, with rhinestones? <laughs> like that. No. <laughs> no, it is not a bedazzler. <laughs> he circled around to my back again where I couldn't see. Hmm. Your cute little fishnet is in the way. I felt a few claws touch my bare skin. I couldn't help but shiver and arch away. I could hear his breathing get deeper. I steadied myself and prepared for pain but I only heard the faint tear of fishnet instead. When? When then? The slow anticipation of the agony I knew was coming threatened to push me into insanity. What is our sanity? Surprisingly high. Surprisingly high. Warmth spread over a small area of my spine. It felt kind of nice until I shrieked in agony. A searing hot point was pressed into my back. I tried to wrench my body away from it, straining against the shackles. Stay still, darling. Oh, sorry, my bad. He hissed into my ear. I could hardly hear him over my own screaming. He dragged the point over my skin, burning, sizzling. I could smell my skin. I twisted in my bonds and retched from the awful smell of my own flesh cooking. Relax. Are you okay? I couldn't think. I needed to escape the pain. The burning. The horrific instrument was lifted from my skin only to be brought down again, directly over my spine. I screamed as my body slammed against the restraints. My shoulder, something... I couldn't concentrate. Tears flowed freely down one side of my face from my undamaged eye. I couldn't stop screaming. He kept dragging the searing point through my skin for what felt like an eternity, until he finally lifted it, pausing. The pain washed over me in residual tidal waves. I felt like I was drowning in it. Dizzy. I heard his footsteps. He took the camera somewhere behind me. Well, pretty cute, right? I blinked and tried to see the screen. Give me a goddamn tramp stamp. The feed of my own mutilated back. The shape. It's an S. It's really cool. So like a Superman S. <laughs> I will bet you cash money that this is what was drawn on my back with the goddamn cauterizing gun. 
cash money. <laughs> I heard him laugh. It sounded hollow and far away. Her arm? Really? Suddenly, he was holding my face again. Wake up, sweetie. Does your shoulder hurt? Yes, I think I probably dislocated it. I groaned, slowly absorbing his words. My shoulder? I tried to move it and cried out again. What? Ah, you dislocated it. I told you not to squirm so much, didn't I? I heard a metallic click. I screamed as my wrists and the heavy metal cuffs attached to them suddenly fell down. I crumpled forward into a sobbing heap. You want me to push it back in? Yes. Yes. That's a good pet. Fuck off. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck off. I'll make you feel better. <laughs> Thanks. He bent down and grabbed my wrists out from under me. The motion sent another dizzying wave of pain from my shoulder. I saw him opening the shackles with a key. I briefly considered using the opportunity to escape. Because I'm sure we would get very far with rhino and kangaroo outside the door. I mean, is that going to stop me from trying? No. <laughs> but I have zero hope that I am going to get anywhere. <laughs> this might be the only chance I'll ever get. I shoved him away from me with my good arm and tried to stand. Ugh! I fell forward. My legs were weak and still shackled to the floor. No! Heh. Heh heh heh. I cried out as his boots slammed down on my ravaged back. That was stupid. Brave, maybe, but stupid. The heel ground down. He scoffed lightheartedly. Chat thought it was pretty cute, though. I groaned in pain as his boot left my back. I felt his knee replace it. Then he grabbed the wrist of my injured arm. Wait, 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 wait. I shrieked as he yanked my arm outwards, but I felt the bone sink back into its socket. The pain died down immediately and significantly. Tears of relief rolled down my cheek and onto the floor. He pushed me back into a seated position and clamped the cuffs back over my wrists. I hissed in pain as he raised my arms and clipped them back onto the chain. Be careful now. His voice dropped to a dangerous growl. That shoulder is still delicate. Don't touch me. <laughs> he casually turned back to the screens. He took a moment to read before chuckling quietly. Oh, I agree. I'll have to watch the footage back myself. I was busy. He turned back to me. Chat tells me that you looked incredibly cute while I was working on your back. I think they need to look at the definition of what cute means. They really liked it. And they're itching to see more. I shrank away from him slightly. Not more. He swooped gracefully behind me and crouched so that his face was right beside mine. I flinched as he pressed against my back, reigniting the pain in my burns. He spoke clearly to the cameras. Are you ready for more, chat? Oh no, don't do that. I couldn't stop a whimper as his claws dug into the soft flesh. Oh no, oh no, don't do that. The camera, there. Despite everything, I could feel shame heating my face again. I lowered my head, trying to escape the sensation. Come on now. I could feel the cold metal of his mask against my cheek. Don't be shy. I held in a cry as he raked the claws through my skin, tearing the fishnet. He dug them in ruthlessly, keeping my legs... Oh, God. I bet Chad is getting very excited. I don't even have to check to see. He reached a hand up to my chin and held it up for the camera. We're going to put on a show like they've never seen. No. His voice went quiet. Aren't we? Any question about what he meant disappeared as he ru Oh no, 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 no. No. I clamped my legs back together as he stood up and walked away. I could hear the shuffling of objects, chains. I somehow felt more exposed in front of the cameras without him there. He returned, holding things I couldn't make out, and dragging a large wedge. He pushed the wedge in front of me. Something clicked on the floor, holding the wedge in place. Then he returned to his position in front of the screens and held up some kind of belt. No, it was... a gag. Then he... What the fuck is that? <laughs> And he waggled something else in front of the camera with a light chuckle. 
Isn't it funny? It reminds me of hentai. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You like it? Oh no, it's going in her mouth. I know, I know you like the screaming. But this is all part of the game. <sighs> no! Wait, what? Lend me your faith, beloved friends. It'll be fun. What did he mean? He returned, kneeling in front of me and pushing the object through the gag. I could finally see it. Some sort of tentacle. This must be a joke. Open wide, huh? I didn't even have a chance to resist or comply. He jabbed two claws in my mouth, and that was enough to shove the skinny tip of the silicone tentacle in. My protest was cut off by the rest of the tentacle being swiftly pushed in. I couldn't do anything but choke as he fastened the rest of the gag around my head. My heaving brought tears to my eyes, but I slowly adjusted. I was shaking, but I could still breathe through my nose. How's that? Comfy. I could only stare at him, panic surely written all over my face. Good. You're all ready for the fun part. Do not put that on me. Do not put that on me, sir. I am not a dog. <laughs> a chain. It's a choke chain. But I've had this one specially made. The prongs were sticking straight out, and they ended in cruelly sharp points. I tried to jerk away as he lowered the chain around my neck. My attempt was cut short by the metallic needles. That's right, you should be careful. The gag and its attachment kept my neck stiff. I finally understood it. Even breathing and swallowing could become a dangerous ordeal. I'll be okay if I just stay perfectly still. The click of my wrist cuffs being unhooked startled me out of my thoughts. My hands fell in front of me, causing another grazing by the needles. I could only shiver and reply. Making sound was impossible. I heard the clink of the chain behind me. I tried to move with it to avoid any more damage. Another click. There. The steady position of the collar told me that he hooked it to the same chain my cuffs used to be attached to. I was paralyzed in my position. The fear of the needles kept me still. Then I felt his fingers on my back. Don't fucking touch me! Even the feather-light touch sent shockwaves of pain through my destroyed skin. He began to press. I was forced to lean over the wedge. Panic shot through me as I tried to steady myself with my hands on the wedge. He kept pushing my back. I was trapped between the pain of my skin and the threat of the choke chain, and the awkward balance over the wedge. I leaned awkwardly forward, trying to steady myself. My legs were already shaking. The barbs of the chain dug into my throat. Ready for the hard part? No. <laughs> Fuck it, let's just go into the choke chain, stab ourselves in the throat, and maybe we'll die and then not have to do this anymore. <laughs> my feet faltered and my grip on the wedge slipped. I leaned forward trying to escape him. The chain around my neck tightened. I heard a low growl from behind me and knew he had noticed. Oh, damn. Can we get some Fs in the chat? <laughs> You did. <laughs> uh, who you is? Who you be? I told you that you can call me Fox. I know what you said, bitch. I'm asking you who you actually are. But who are you really? What are you? Have you been under a rock for the last five years? Embarrassment crept up my face. I heard, yeah, furry, right? What? No. Get your shit together. <laughs> but I sleep tight. 
All right, I guess let's just go to sleep then. There's no point in working ourselves up. We're just gonna go to sleep. We'll get dressed, whatever. I can do it by myself, I'm a big girl. I held up the scant netting. Ugh. I hooked a thumb in my underwear and looked up, half expecting them to turn around. But of course they didn't. I shakily removed my underwear, trying to cover myself. Thankfully, they seemed to not react at all. I hastily pulled on the new underwear. I was a bit relieved to find that it was extremely stretchy, but it was still terribly revealing. I sighed in defeat and pulled the fishnet over my body. Ah, lovely. Oh. Stand up straight and turn. I could feel myself flushing hotly. I tried to remind myself that this is surely better than what's coming. The thought didn't help much. I obeyed him and turned around slowly. Perfect. He did sound pretty happy. Hopefully, I bought myself some mercy. He made a motion toward me and the guard approached. I stayed still as he circled behind me and pulled my arms back. A click, and the familiar weight of sh metal shackles weighed my wrists down. Okay. Okay, hello, admirers. I looked into the camera and spoke clearly. There's no point in resisting now. He grabbed my face again, squeezing my cheeks and shaking it slightly. So cute. He turned back to the camera. Okay. Hmm. Interesting ideas. I'm not so sure about the artistic vision, though. Let's do a classic design, for old times' sake. Shall we get to work, then? What does that mean? It's a soldering gun. The shape was unmistakable. A lump formed in my throat. Oh, so you're cute and clever. That's absolutely right. I could feel myself beginning to shake. I knew exactly what was about to happen. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, what do you, what do you? Yes, push my arm back in, but what did you draw on me? We won't try to escape. Our feet are attached to the floor. <laughs> Take a deep breath and make sure your tongue isn't between your teeth. This is going to hurt for a moment and then it'll feel a lot better. Are you ready? I nodded weakly. I screamed as he pulled my arm out to the side, but I felt the bone sink back into its socket. The pain died down immediately and significantly. Before I could appreciate the relief, he was closing the shackles around my wrists. Oh, okay, I guess we won't choke ourselves to death this time. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, he was stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Mm. can't believe I almost auctioned her. Yeah, wow. That would have been such a waste. <sighs> I can do this. <laughs> My wrists were pulled up to their original position and attached to the chain above. I hung from them limply. I felt his hand cut my face. Hanging in there? Oh, I'm a little bit surprised you survived that. But you did well. His hand caressed me softly. You did really well. Thanks. He left my side and went back to his screens. He seemed to be reading. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They tell me your eye looks terrible. They said it looks like the inside of a pizza pop. What the fuck is a pizza pop? It looks like a Cronenberg movie. <laughs> like someone put an essential oil bath bomb in the microwave. <laughs> Fuck. Like a prolapsed... Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm not saying that one. Anyway, I'm afraid they're right. I turned my head away automatically. I didn't know why I felt ashamed of it. I think it might cause problems if we leave it like that. I think it's going to have to... Come out. Oh, 
<laughs> let's not. Let's not do that. Don't do that. Please. Don't do that. I can't. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. I knew how pathetic I must look, but I didn't care. The thought of him messing with my eye was too much. He only laughed in response. I know, I know. There's no way around it. I just need to get some supplies. He walked away for a moment and started digging through drawers somewhere in the darkness. I vaguely wondered how he could even see anything in here. He seemed to be taking longer than usual, though. I started feeling more aware of the cameras aimed at me. I hope karma comes for you fuckers. I glowered at the camera. Shouldn't antagonize our patrons, darling. I huffed and looked away. He finally came back, wheeling a small tray. <laughs> Fucking shit, okay. Then he knelt down in front of me and held up a thin metal instrument. This is to hold your eye open so I can work. Let's get this fucking clockwork orange shit over with. No. He raised it to my face and I twisted away from him. His other hand grabbed my face with crushing force. I winced as his claw dug into my face. He forced my face into position. Stay. Still. Ah! He pushed the instrument into my injured eye, propping my eyelids open painfully. You might want to... Hmm. Well, you might want to look away with your good eye anyway. As soon as he raised a scalpel, Ugh! As soon as he raised a scalpel, I obediently tried to look away. I can't. I can't do this. All you have to do is stay still. He suddenly pressed his face right up beside mine and spoke in a whisper no microphone could pick up. I'm only cutting out the bad part for the audience. If you behave, I'll have an expert look at it later. He leaned away and twirled the scalpel deftly for the camera. Or was he demonstrating his dexterity for me? The idea evaporated from my mind as he raised the scalpel into position. I bit down on his, on his scream as the blade penetrated the ruined flesh of my eye socket. I could feel him carving, oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> my entire body was shaking violently. The sound of delicate metal instruments grazing each other punctuated my whimpers. I tried to fight through the pain to stay still. I actually welcomed the vice-like grip of his hand steadying my head. He was moving quickly. So quickly he was becoming a blur. The throbbing pain started to subside. That's better. Was, am I passing out? What's happening? We will kill her. Don't kill me. I liked this one. Why does he sound so sad? Take a good look, then. Let's bring this show to an end. What? I felt his hand on my face. It's real bad. It's not good. It's real bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Was it good? Fun. It's banana bread to try to make me feel better. Well, next time, I'm going to try to survive the second show because I never, 
never want that to happen to me again. That was horrific. for the next show, I guess.